Jesus will never get you stuck. Jesus will save you from being stuck because he loves you. So when are you going to turn to Jesus? Say it again. Explain. Okay, very easy. All right. I'm going to use language you understand. Allah, his eternal word, kalam Allah, kalimat Allah, and his eternal spirit, his ruh. How many is that? I mean, if you like separately, yeah, I don't understand. You are trying to say three. Okay, so the eternal word of Allah, is it a separate being, a separate ilah from Allah, or is it a part of him? Uh, I mean, his word is his, you know. He's... So even though the word of Allah is distinct, it's still one with him, right? Yeah. And that word also can become a book. It became a kitab, right? Yeah. And it's still one God, right? Yeah. So why can't God's word become flesh, a man, and still be one God? I mean, that's not the point. Like I'm just That is the point, because Jesus is the word of God who became flesh. So I'm asking you again. Let's see if you're going to answer. If Allah's eternal word is a part of him, but it's also distinct, and it can become a physical book in the Mus'haf or in the tablets, and still Allah be one and not two Allahs, why can't the eternal word of God become flesh, become a man, and God still be one? Look, like, when it comes to Jesus, like, Allah uh, said he is his creation. I didn't ask about Jesus. I asked, why can't the word of God become flesh, become a man? You ran to Jesus. Answer that question. Can the word of God become a man and become flesh, become human, and God still be one? And that still be his word? I mean, I, I honestly, about this, like, I don't know, but... Maybe why don't you know? Up. Hold on. The Quran is the kalam Allah, speech of Allah... It is one of his sifat. It's a sifa attribute of Allah. It's uncreated, beginningless. And it's a part of Allah, not separate from him. And it became a kitab, a book. Yeah, and yet yes. Allah still won. Uh, so if the word of God can become book, why can't it become flesh? Can it become flesh? Yes or no? Yeah. like. Uh, yeah, say it again. Allah's speech, like like uh, in the Akhirah, you know, we do read that, uh, uh, you know, the verses of Quran will protect us, right? Yeah. And uh, not so much verses of the Quran protecting you. So you agree if the word of Allah can be a book, then the word of God can become flesh, become man? Yes or no? Like, I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, because you're scared, because you understand. I got you in your mind. You're saying, yes, if the word of God can be a book and God still be one, then that word can become man and God still be one. But, but I don't want to say I, it. I no, no, I will explain to you. You know, the Quran, it's different. How is yes, it different and, when the Quran is going to speak to Allah and intercede for you? If you see what it is, um, the Quran, it, it, like Allah said, Allah revealed it at some point. But it was yeah, always so there that, with Allah, right? And I it mean, never came then, into being, uh, right? Yes, but it was revealed at some point, right? I don't care about the revelation. It was always there without beginning, right? Yes, yes. Okay, that and that Quran, telling, according to Sahih Muslim, Surat al-Baqarah, Surat al-Imran, will appear as flocks of birds and will argue with Allah to defend the Muslims. That's inside Muslim. Yeah, so if... You agree Allah with... Hold on. Do you agree with that? Yes, yes, I okay, do. Okay, but now so. wait. Slowly. Don't run because you want to run. Say, I know you like to run. No, don't run. So Surat al-Imran, chapter 3 of the Quran, Surat al-Baqarah, chapter 2. They are part of the Quran, the speech of Allah. And as part of the Quran and Allah's speech, they are uncreated, no beginning. But then these two surah, surahs will appear as birds and speak with Allah. So if Allah's word can appear as birds to talk to him, why can't Allah's word become a man and talk to him? Um, I mean, if Allah wants, yes. Okay, say it again. If Allah wants, yes. That's our trinity. That's what we're telling you. Allah did want it. The Allah of the Bible, not the Allah of the Quran. And his word became flesh. His name is Jesus. So what's the problem with the trinity? You just admit the trinity is logical and it's possible. I know, like I'm trying to... Hey, like what words have we used to explain Trinity? Like where Jesus Ooh, said words. I'll be here for hours. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. He was okay. with God in the beginning. All things were created by Him. And without Him, nothing has been created that has been created. In Him was life. And that light was the light of man. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld His glory. The glory of the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. You, you, what you prove right now is uh, not Trinity. You prove uh, only two. And that's all I need to prove for now to show you the word can be flesh and still be one with God and not two gods. I can uh, then show you the spirit from the Quran and the Bible and then you're buried. Now no, you want me to show you the spirit? Genesis 1 verses 1 and 2. In the beginning, okay. God created heavens and the earth. Now the earth was without form and void. And the spirit of God was hovering over the waters 
So there is the Ruch of God, Ruch Elohim, who's with God creating the earth. Do you agree? Okay, so it says uh, it was hovering. So yeah, and what does the word hovering mean? What is it doing there? Why is it hovering over the gaseous mass or the water of the earth? Don't play that game with me because then Job 33, 4 tells you, the spirit of God made me and the breath of the almighty gives me life. He's there to create and give life to the earth and man. Okay, so how many is that now? Count for me. God, the word of God that created all things became flesh and the spirit of God. Count for me. How many is that? Yes. Okay, so enough. In a, end of story. What I was saying, I can understand like you can explain it, but like, you know, you see in the Quran, it's clear what Allah is saying about You sure it's saying. very clear that the Quran is the Kalam Allah, it's uncreated and it will speak to no, Allah? No, no, not about the Quran. I'm saying about Allah explaining himself. I'm one. I have no No, children. it's not clear. No, 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 no. Because it says Allah is the best of creators. So how many creators are there? Because there's another creator besides Allah. Okay, but then how did Allah create Adam? He created him from dust, from clay, from teen, right? Yeah. And he breathed his spirit into Adam, right? Yeah, yeah. Why did he breathe the spirit? What did the spirit do for Adam? To give him life. Okay, so the spirit made Adam alive, right? Yes. And the spirit came out of Allah because Allah breathed the spirit, right? Because he yes. says we breathe. So if he breathed, that means he came out of where? From Allah. Okay, so he's not part of creation, right? Because he's from Allah. Okay. Unless you believe there are parts of Allah that created, he breathed them out. He said yeah. we breathe. So if he's breathing, that means coming out of Allah, right? Yeah. yeah. So it can't be creation, right? Yes. If it's creation, that means you're saying something from Allah is created because it comes out of him, right? Yeah. Okay, now alive. follow me. I want everyone to hear what you said. The spirit made Adam alive and the spirit came out of Allah and nothing that comes out of Allah is created, right? Yeah. How many is that? Count. How many is that? Count. Allah, spirit, breathe the spirit because Allah didn't breathe himself into Adam, right? Did Allah enter Adam or was the spirit of Allah? I mean, Allah just blew his spirit. And you told me why he blew. That's so that the spirit would make Adam alive, right? Yes. Okay, so did Allah enter Adam? Did Allah blow himself into Adam or he blew something else that wasn't Allah? Yeah, Allah blew his spirit. And, the, uh, and Allah is not the spirit, right? Right? I, Unless you I, believe Allah entered Adam. Make up your mind. Did Allah enter Adam or the spirit? No, no. Of course not. But okay. So yeah, Allah is not I, the spirit, right? No. Okay. But Allah, I mean, Allah has a, his spirit. His okay, spirit, and that spirit is not Allah, right? That's uh, that's a part of Allah. Good, but it's still not Allah because you don't believe Allah blew himself into Adam. He didn't enter Adam's body. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a part of Allah, but it's not Allah, right? Yes. Okay, and that's because Allah, Allah blew the spirit, that means the spirit came out of Allah, right? Yeah. And that means it's not created, right? Yes. And the spirit made Adam alive, right? Yeah, yeah. And that means the spirit is creator and life giver. So how many is that? Count for me. Do math for me. Two. Say it again. You are, I mean. It, say it. Spirit. No, say it. You said it. Just say it. Oh, yeah. You are saying spirit and Allah. So you are making me say two. I'm making but you or the Quran is making you. Okay. Let me make you say one. Allah blew himself into Adam, right? And he blew himself into Mary's private oh, part. You know why I still say one? Because Allah has a spirit. So when spirit is out, doesn't mean he does not have spirit within I him. never said the spirit is not part of him. See, you're twisting my words. Stop playing games. I'm going to go with you. When Allah blew the spirit into Mary's private part, Allah entered Mary's private part? No. Who entered? His spirit. Okay, so you understand you're playing games with me because you're admitting it's not Allah that entered Adam and Allah did not enter Mary's private part, his spirit. That means the spirit... Even though it's part of Allah, it's still different from Allah. They're not the same. Yes. Okay, yes. good. So if they're not the same, though they're one, that means they're two in one, right? I cannot say that two in one. Of course you can't say two in one. Yeah, because you know you got buried shish kebab, man. You got shish kebab. <laughs> so that's why when you tell me Allah's one, you don't know what you're talking about because it, what does it mean? Okay, one what? You I don't know. know even what one means because you just prove to everyone Quran is not created, and yet it's a part of Allah, but it's not Allah, and it becomes a book. The spirit is not created, and yet it's a part of Allah, but it's not identical to Allah, and he gives life. So let's count. Allah, the Quran, and the spirit. How many? Uh, How many? Yeah, I mean, uh, you're saying three. I'm saying do math. I'm stupid. <laughs> what? Yeah, Allah? Don't put me. Don't okay, put man. I'll let yeah. you go. Okay, I'll let you go. But you get it. So stop attacking the Trinity. You know why? Yeah. 
You have your own trinity, the Islamic trinity.